Sugar is a free and open source desktop environment designed for interactive learning by children. Copyright by Sugar Labs. Developed as part of the One Laptop Per Child OLPC project, Sugar was the default interface on OLPC X01 laptop computers. The OLPC X01.5 and later provided the option of either the GNOME or Sugar interfaces. Sugar is available as a live CD, as live USB, and a package installable through several Linux distributions. It can run in a Linux virtual machine under Windows and Mac OS. Unlike most other desktop environments, Sugar does not use the desktop folder and window metaphors. Instead, Sugar's default full screen activities require users to focus on only one program at a time. Sugar implements a journal which automatically saves the user's running program session and allows them to later use an interface to pull up their past works by date, activity used, or file type. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design principles. Sugar has the objective of being suitable for even inexperienced users, but provides more advanced facilities for the more experienced. The project's stated goal is to avoid bloated interfaces and limit the controls to those immediately relevant to the task at hand. Applications run full screen, double clicking is not used, and menus show icons. Sugar is written in Python, an interpreted language, and can be modified by users with programming experience. Desktop environments used by many operating systems are written in compiled languages such as C. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Software components. Applications developed by Sugar are very pragmatic which offers number of opportunity to avail which enhances the skills and make them dexterous in their field. Sugar activities include Turl Blocks 3D Ruler, Recall and many more. Hundreds of learning activities for Sugar can be downloaded from the Sugar Activity Library. Additional activities are available from third parties, such as the Project Kybal portal in Uruguay. History In May 2006 Sugar's developers described it as primarily a tool for expression and plans were in place to include multimedia and social networking features. Since May 2008, Sugar has been developed under the umbrella of Sugar Labs, a member project of the Software Freedom Conservancy. Some contributors are employed by One Laptop Per Child and other related organizations, others are volunteers, in many cases associated with the free software community. Contributors to the original Sugar platform included Marco Pesanti Gritti, Walter Bender, Christopher Blizzard, Eben Eliasson, Simon Champier, Christian Schmidt, Lisa Straussfeld, Takaki Okada, Tomeu Vizozo, and Dan Williams. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cross-platform. By early 2007 Sugar could be installed, with some difficulty, on several Linux distributions, and in virtual machines on other operating systems. By mid-2008 Sugar was available on the Debian, Ubuntu, and Fedora distributions of Linux, e.g., as of Ubuntu 8.04 Hardy Heron, Sugar could be installed from the official Ubuntu Universe repositories. By mid-2009 Sugar was also available on OpenSUSE and other Linux distributions. Sugar 0.82.1 was included in the OLPC system software release 8.2.0 for X01 laptops. 
Sugar 0.86 was released on September 30, 2009. Sugar 0.88 was released on March 31, 2010. Sugar 0.90.0 was released in October, 2010. There were three releases in 2011 and one in June 2012, which included support for the ARM architecture on the X0 1.75. Builds for OLPC X0 laptops and the release schedule are available at OS releases. Sugar has unofficially been ported to run on Android, Firefox OS and iOS using HTML5 and JavaScript under the project name, Sugarizer with additional clients written for web browsers supporting HTML5. <laughs> Sugar on a stick The Sugar learning platform for Linux is available as a USB bootable Linux distribution, Sugar on a stick and as software components forming an installable additional desktop environment for most Linux distributions. It can be installed using the Fedora Live USB Creator, and can be installed onto a computer hard disk using the Liveinst command from a Sugar terminal or console. On June 23, 2009, Sugar Labs announced the availability for download of Sugar on a Stick V1 Strawberry, which can run from a bootable 1 GB USB flash drive. On July 23, 2009, RecycleUSB.com went live with a program to reflash used USB keys with the Sugar software and donate them to schools. On December 8, 2009, Sugar Labs announced the availability of Sugar on a Stick V2 Blueberry, which incorporates Sugar Release 0.86 and Fedora 11. Sugar Labs announced the availability of Sugar on a Stick V3 Mirabelle, which incorporates Sugar Release 0.88 and Fedora 13. Since Mirabelle, Sugar on a Stick has been a regular, semi-annual, Fedora Spin official special purpose version of Fedora. The A Spin using Fedora V22 was released on 26 May 2015. Topic <laughs> X01 Usage The OLPC X01 has a 1 GB NAND flash drive and 256 MB of memory. Because the flash-based hard drive is small, swap can only be added by using an SD card or a network block device. If too many activities are loaded at the same time there may be performance problems due to low memory or processor load. Topic Releases Topic Exo releases Sugar has had many Exo releases. Topic Raspberry Pi releases Sugar can be run on a Raspberry Pi. It is recommended to use SOAS to run Sugar on one. You can learn how to run Sugar on a Raspberry Pi on Sugar Labs website. Topic: <laughs> Sugar on a stick releases. Topic: <laughs> Strawberry The Sugar on a Stick Strawberry release is based on Fedora 11 with the latest updates as of June 22, 2009. It features a Sugar learning environment, namely version 0.84, including 40 activities to enrich the learning experience. Hundreds of activities are available for download from the Sugar Activity Library. 
This release includes Fedora updates, sugar features like view source and file transfer, supplementary sample content, which is available in the journal, and usability improvements. <laughs> Blueberry Sugar on a Stick V2 Blueberry was released on 8 December 2009. It is based on F12 version of the Fedora operating system. It contains a number of features that improve the overall user and learning experience. Here is an overview of the most notable ones. Sugar on a Stick V2 Blueberry Ships Sugar Release, 0.86.3 its features are Redesigned toolbars Better Nash support for Adobe Flash content Improved wireless networking Support for tab browsing EPUB file support for e-books Easier keyboard configuration Easy way to update to the latest activities ZYX Liveinstaller, in high demand was a software to install Sugar to a hard disk. Hence Sugar teamed up the ZYX Liveinstaller developer in order to provide Seamless installation of personalized environment into your computer's hard disk It saves changes made to Sugar it does not require boot again and again, activities it includes updates to the standard collection of activities for children and many new ones. An example is TamTam -tam Activity Suite, which takes the user on a journey through sound and music. <laughs> Mirabelle Mirabelle was the third release of the Sugar on a Stick project. It was released on 25 May 2010. Sugar version 0.88 features, support for 3G connections Increased accessibility Better integration with Activity Portal Sugar on a Stick is now a Fedora spin. After two prior releases of being based on Fedora distribution, Sugar on a Stick has been recognized by Fedora Project as an official spin. This ties us more closely to Fedora's release cycle and gives us resources from their engineering and marketing teams, which extends the reach of Sugar on a Stick and makes the project itself more sustainable. In exchange, users of Fedora have access to an easily deployable implementation of the Sugar platform. It's a great example of a mutually beneficial upstream downstream relationship. Contributing to Sugar on a Stick, the biggest difference in v3 has been in its release processes and engineering sustainability. Topic: Mango Lassi Mango Lassi was the fourth version of Sugar on a Stick released on 2 November 2010. It uses Sugar version 0.90. Coconut It is the fifth version of Sugar on a Stick released on 9 October 2011. It uses a sugar version 0.92. Topic: <inaudible> Pineapple. It is the sixth version of Sugar on a Stick released on the 8th of November 2011. It uses a sugar version 0.94.1. Topic: Quadung It is the seventh version of Sugar on a Stick released on 29 May 2012. It uses a Sugar version 0.96.1. Oh Hello I It is the eighth version of Sugar on a Stick released on 15 January 2013. 
It uses a sugar version 0.98.2. Topic: <inaudible> Avocado. It is the ninth version of Sugar on a Stick released on the 2nd of July 2013. It uses a sugar version 0.98.8. Topic 10. It is the tenth version of Sugar on a Stick released on the 17th of December 2013. It uses a sugar version 0.100.0. Topic Later versions. Sugar has stopped giving official names to SOAS releases, however it continues to create new versions for each Fedora release. The latest version of Sugar is 0.112. Sugar has released its latest versions for the latest Fedoras, Fedora 23, Fedora 24, Fedora 25, Fedora 26, and Fedora 27. Topic Screenshots Topic Sugarizer Sugarizer is an HTML and JavaScript based application that allows for using sugar functionality on any device. It is available as both a web application and a mobile app. It offers a similar user interface, and includes features of Sugar Core, Data Store and Journal, as well as many of the same Sugar activities. See also Educational software Linux